What's up guys? So in this video I want to talk about how to have the best off season you have ever had. And it starts with the mental game and it ends with you having the skills and the tools and the ability to play exactly how you want. All right. So I'm Corson Searles, owner of Identity 2.0, and I created this program because I wanted players to have access to the tools that I never did. That's why I built this stuff. And I want to talk to you guys about how you can actually use the Identity 2.0 philosophy to play the way that you want to play. So let's look at the first one. So defining the identity. So in order to actually define what type of player you are, you need to be able to sit down in silence and meditate on how you play. So typically we'll have our players journal on this. They'll answer some specific questions on really what type of player they've been. They'll spend some time journaling. They'll spend some time reflecting in silence and getting into a programmable state where they're completely free and present and then able to just see who have I been without any of the lies they told themselves, see through the story they've built up in their head about the player they're trying to be and get honest with the player that they actually are. And then from there, once you've defined that identity, you go in and you start to actually understand how to become present. This is about consistently tapping into presence. So I typically recommend a lot of people listen to The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, or Tolle, nobody knows how to say his name, but going in and listening to those books is really helpful. Now you can also use guided meditations, or you can do your own meditations, but regardless, understanding how to master being present and calm and being in the moment so that when you get into a high pressure situation in a game, in a big game, you're not getting nervous and getting distracted by the crowd. You're not getting distracted by emotions and thoughts. You're so present that the only thing you see is what's happening on the ice and you execute with your full ability because you're fully there, focused and present. So you've, you've mastered that presence and that transfers into the flow state. So that, like I said, when you get into that moment, you're, you're in a flow. You're so deeply connected to what you're doing that you're tapping into the greatest ability that you have. And after you master the, pr the present state, then we work on actually going into it. When we define our identity, then we go into actually unwiring or deprogramming it. And why do we want to do that? Well, you see, our brain builds up these patterns, these repetitive patterns of who we are. And it builds up these patterns and we convince ourselves that we're a certain player based on what we've done in the past. We build up an identity. I'm a skilled player. I'm a power forward. I'm a defensive-minded defenseman. You're whatever you decided you are. And that's because those are the patterns you've programmed. And you might have been convinced by a coach or a parent or you convinced yourself that you, you're a certain type of player. You're a certain person just because of what happened in the past. But the crazy thing is, is that you're not anything. We just convince ourselves that we are one of those things. And when we convince ourselves we're one of those things, we play into that identity. We are boxed in by what we've defined as who we are as a player. We can't be a goal scorer. Why do you think you see some of these players who they score like a goal every season? And they score that goal and it's like this crazy experience because they don't score. They're not a goal scorer. But you see, like, Tons of those players have way more skill and ability than they realize. But it takes more than just, you know, show up and hopefully things work out. It's not like that. To, to actually become the player you want to be, you have to let go and unwire. You have to unwire and let go of that player you used to be so you can be fully in flow, tapping into what we call the true self, the true superstar when you're playing. So... You got to do that. And when we talk about rewiring a new identity, this is you've freed yourself from the old stuff, and now you program in the player you want to be. Your brain learns based on the past. It's like I'm saying, you, you program these old things. So you want to let go of that old past and start bringing in a new programming, program a new memory and a new software that allows you to play how you want. If you haven't been a goal scorer before, you can't just keep relying on the zero evidence, the zero software that's programmed into your mind. That None, none of that says, like all the old software doesn't say 
you're a goal scorer because you, you've never been. So if you're trying to actually start scoring, yes, you build up the skill set. No shit. Everybody knows that you work on your skills and you add that stuff. Yes, like we we train that with our players too. But there's so much more to it than just the skill. Like, yeah, you have to be able to shoot the puck and you work on that consistently. If you're not doing that, then literally get off this video and start working on your skills. Like, that's the most foundational thing you should be doing. You should be working on your skill set. But what I'm saying is that you want to be doing these other things and you want to be rewiring the identity that says, when I'm in the slot, I, I shoot every time. When I get the puck in the half wall, I always find a player out front because then you have the confidence when you're in the moment in that flow state you don't question what you should do you don't have a terrible program that says all right well when i get in this position i uh i uh, uh right like you've done that it's too late right and so many players like they build up this whole fear and this crazy like doubtful mindset because they have a really old program that their software says like we don't do this we shouldn't score we don't make deeks we don't ever play offensive we don't do any of that stuff and that's going to stop you so you got to rewire that new identity and then you got to master the hockey sense loop so what does that mean well the hockey sense loop is is more complicated like we're not going to get into the whole details of what it is ultimately like we're not going to get into the nitty-gritty of it like this is a whole course we sell like this is a whole thing and yes like it's it's an expensive program it includes a bunch of stuff like it's a thousand dollar course so it's we we put a lot into that but like the reason that the ma like hockey sense mastery comes after this stuff is because we've let go when we've programmed in a new identity now we program the true decisions we make like now it's not just i'm a goal scorer i shoot the puck it's okay when i'm in this specific position i shoot the puck every single time to this spot if the goalie moves this way, then I do that. And ultimately, to simplify Hockey Sense Mastery down to a really simple process, like it's a six-step process that we've built out, which we can talk about in another video, like comment below if you want to see more of that stuff. But like the like mastering the Hockey Sense loop is going to change your life, but ultimately it's an if-then statement. Like, let me add that in here. This is going to be... Be loud, just let me sit this down. So, like, if I hope this is helpful because, like, this is like the essence of what the hockey sense mastery loop is. Let me make sure this is still on. Yeah, we're good. So, the hockey sense loop, if then, so it's, it's really just understanding, like, if I'm in this situation, then I do this. It's a, it's a neural link, that's that's what we call it. I got that that term from identity 2.0 I thought Jason came up with a great concept there so it's like if I'm if I'm in the slot then I shoot here if I'm here then I do this and the interesting thing is like if you want to improve this you can increase the complexity of the if so it's like if I get the puck and the goalie's here or if I get the puck and there's a guy in front of me blocking the shot then I do this and I do this. So like you can just add like and statements. I guess I'm gonna I'm kinda going into a little complexity with decision making here. You just like add and like in between to add complexity. But yeah, it's like a really crazy thing when you realize like your whole hockey game is just made up of these neural links or if then statements. So you master that. And then the final thing is well, I just want to look at my paper. I have a couple things I wrote down adding the tools so then now it's like okay well i want to master presence like you you go through these things and you get a really good understanding of it. you don't really you don't master it per se i just think that sounds a lot better but like you get better at these things and then you add the tools so say you're not pre as present as you want to be well then you actually do that meditation course like you work on meditation if you're not as confident as you want to be you go through the identity course and break down the identity you deprogram you rewire a new one if you find yourself you're not focusing before the games you feel like you're not there well obviously you go through certain confidence things to unwire but then when you get into that right before the game you listen to a pre-game hypnosis you're not recovering as well you're not as fast as you want to be you're not because cardio your shots not where you want it to be then you add in those these tools you tweak and you add these skills in but 
it all comes from being able to actually identify like, okay, this is the style I want to play. This is how I want to play and finding those details. And then you intertwine that with the way your team plays and the way your teammates play, whoever you're lined up with on the ice and you become this player and you really truly live into it. So if you're trying to have like the best off season that you ever had or creating a 10 person mastermind. Um, it's really just an opportunity to bring players who are committed to really transforming this off season. We're going to bring you guys together, give you the whole system and put it all together. So if you're interested in that, like comment below and I can hit you up with a message or send me a DM, uh, on like Instagram, my Instagram's Course and Searles, very simple, C O R S O N S E A R L E S. Um, if you're interested in that, and you want to work one on one, we also offer stuff like that too. Again, like I've I've really given up. I used to be afraid to talk about like try to you know like sell myself, but I think this stuff will transform your entire life. You will never look at hockey or like off ice the same again. So like like this this stuff is absolutely insane like i've worked with many clients who this has helped dramatically like the way they look at everything on and off the ice transforms when you understand how to use this and apply it to your game and i want you guys to have it so i'm going to try to break down like as much as i can so leave comments about what you want out of this like what you want to learn but like this is the basis of what identity 2.0 is how it works and how you're going to have like the best off season of your life so Send me a message, uh, leave a comment, make sure you like if you enjoy this stuff and share it with somebody who this might help. Maybe you have a buddy who you want to do this program with, join the mastermind with or work one on one, whatever. Yeah, I'm just looking to put for like good players, skilled players who want to do this stuff because I really do enjoy this. So I will talk to you guys soon. Um, it's most likely on YouTube and Instagram, I think. Uh, maybe clip it up for some other stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon and hopefully i see you in one of the programs so you can have the best off season of your life All right see you guys bye